Hey guys, welcome to an auto review right here on Toy World. Right here on ToyWorldOrder.com, starting me, Duvall, and my buddy, Puppet Duvall. Woo! Gang, we're here to take a look at the all-new Mattel line of DC Superhero Girls action figures. That's right, oh. they made a line of action figures for the new DC Superhero Girls, which oh. basically the story is, saving the world from the plans of supervillains isn't easy, especially when you have to rush home right afterward to study for a big test in uh, heronomics. But that's just a day in the life of a student at Superhero High. A school where you can not only learn how to control and master your awesome powers, but also the value of teamwork and the importance of being comfortable in your own super skin. Fortunately, your classmates know exactly what you're going through, as every student here is trying to figure out how to be a superhero and a super friend. Oh, that's a total star! It is. It's, it's a... The something in the phone! It is a, uh, I believe right now it's a web series, uh, and it's is, uh, probably going to end up being a TV series down the road, but uh, these are a big deal. I know they made their debut at Target's, at, uh, on the end cap of Target stores. Um, they should be hitting mass retail everywhere else here real soon. Uh, there's not only a line of these action figures, there's also a line of 12-inch posable dolls, wow. uh, as well as uh, uh, dress-up items and, and, and uh, role-play items and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the lineup is made up of five figures, three of which we'll take a look at here today. They are, uh, they are of course, Wonder Woman. So we got Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Uh, Supergirl, who we're not taking a look at. Six, six figures, I'm sorry. So we got Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, Harley Quinn, Batgirl! Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn! and Bumblebee. Bumblebee, oh, what's the Batgirl? What? Batgirl! Um, Batgirl? Mr. Draper did not give us those figures. So, I'm sure he's back on your list of worst people ever, right? He never left. Oh, he never left. Fair enough. Um, we were honored to uh, to get at least these figures to take a look at. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Mr. Draper uh, nah. put away Batgirl and Harley Quinn before we get a chance to look at them, which are probably the, Harley is probably the most popular one out of the series because she seems to be the hardest one to find, period. Nah. Uh, but we'll take a look at Bumblebee, Poison Ivy, and Wonder Woman. Uh, the front of these packages, uh, very familiar kind of looking action figure packaging, really. Um, you know, we've got the, the figure in the little window bubble there with uh, in action includes a set of wings that she comes with and then the back of the package actually has a really great uh, art style the story that I read you there as well as some of the other characters in the line so with that said what do you say we open up these three girls and take a look at Wonder Woman Bumblebee and Poison Ivy uh, yes, yes. and personal all right Wonder Woman Poison Ivy and Bumblebee now the great thing about this is they Bumblebee. There's... what Bumblebee that does not look like a transformable she's not a transformable puppet it's she's she's a young girl with bumblebee like wings and she flies she goes buzz 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 i don't think she goes buzz 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 but uh possibly uh we've got wonder woman who is a true leader courageous competent and competitive and all the girls at superhero high look up to her but she still has a lot to learn about life away from her home on paradise island good thing here is she has plenty of friends to show her the ropes she, she does have a rope see see how that works no. You get uh, Bumblebee, who is a happy, go-lucky girl who's always up on the latest trends in music. And while she can be the life of the party, she's also one of the smartest girls at Superhero High. She even built her special tech suit that allows her to shrink to the size of a bee. She's also a Metropolis local, so she goes out of her way to make new students feel at home. So she's basically the wasp. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And then Poison Ivy, a.k.a. Ivy, is a genius when it comes to the biology of plants. Being shy and far more comfortable with plants than people, Ivy spends most of her time in the superhero high greenhouse. While she has the power to control plants, they can sometimes get out of hand. So, we've got a great trio of uh, young women superheroes here who are beautifully done and beautifully sculpted and crafted. Um, they're, they're, of course, very cartoony, which is in in line with what they should be for this show, but they are really well done and really well made. For example, here we'll move Wonder Woman and we'll move Ivy out of the way here for a second. Yes. Uh, we'll take a look, like for Bumblebee, for, exist, for example, there's a lot of articulation on these figures. I mean, these figures rival uh, superhero articulation. I mean, look, the knees, not only do they have, you know, a, a knee, but they also pivot, so you can actually pivot the knees in there. So you can actually, you know, she can sit down or she can, she can fly. Uh, Ooh, make her fly! <laughs> well, she can't really fly. Uh, 
well. She's got, you know, articulation at the shoulders, the elbows, and the nose can move. Her hands can turn. Uh, the hands are made out of really soft plastic. So they open pretty simple there, pretty easily, and they just come back together. Um, the wings here, you can, uh, you can detach them. They will come off. They may take a little work, but you can see they are just a, uh, it's just an add-on there. It's just like a little backpack she wears, which is kind of cool. The head sculpt here, because of her hair, does, uh, does tend to uh, give her just a little bit lack of range of moment. The heads are on a little bit of a ball joint, but they don't move up and down very well. But uh, uh, beautifully done. I mean, the paint apps on here are very simple, but very well, again, very well done. Uh, very minimal, but they're effective. And very cool. Bumblebee's a, she's a sweet looking character. And a, sweet, get away, it is. She's hanging, hanging out. I know. I know. <laughs> Ivy here. Our resident, uh, uh, our, oh, oh no. Our resident uh, plant lady. Uh, I love that she's got, you know, she got the vines that grow up her legs. She's got like the little, the little leggings on there. And little, her little green, uh, green shoes. Her dress here is a uh, hard plastic. So unfortunately, while she has the same articulation as everybody, uh, she does tend to lack the articulation because she can't move past that dress because it is kind of a hard plastic. But she does have the same articulation when it comes to the hands. Uh, again, the hands are really soft plastic, as you can see. The head, uh, her head's a little bit more, a little bit easier to pose. It's a little bit easier to turn. Uh, because the hair here is, uh, th there's a little, oh, bit of, oh. th little bit of space in between the hair and the back of her neck. Oh, so oh. She has a little bit of a removable vine, so the vine can come off, but she can oh, attach oh. it. She can attach it to her arm there, so she oh, can, oh. yeah, so there you go. Just a little removable oh, vine. Oh. Her hair. Oh, oh. oh, my goodness. But I love, I love the little, uh, she's got like this little, little kind of uh, side ponytail thing going on here where it's all... You know, she's got vines growing in her hair. Uh, again, it really, I mean, just beautifully done figures and a great looking line. And we, I know when we first saw these and, and heard about them, we were very excited for this line um, that it was coming out and then they were doing it because we figured, well, it's going to be interesting to see how they do. And they came out really well. So I'm very, very happy with them. And then we've got, uh, we've got Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, of course, comes with a removable lasso. And Wonder Woman is probably, um, is a little bit more of a, uh, uh, a little bit more of a, a figure that's a little bit more off the design elements that we're used to than usual. She does have her little her little wrist bracelets. You know, I love that her her boots have the little wings, which are kind of a throwback. Um, her outfit does uh, does have a little bit of a uh, I don't know what you. It's a little bit of a kind of reminds me of what they were going to do with uh, Adrian Pilecki on uh, on her Wonder Woman uh, show that never got picked up. But she kind of wore jeans like this where they had the stars on them and such. Um, difference here with Wonder Woman is she has purple hair. Purple hair. I know she has purple hair, and it's a it's a soft plastic, but uh, she does have uh, she does have purple hair, which is kind of interesting. It's not uh, not dark black like it usually is. It is it is purple. That is uh, very very purple. But Wonder Woman, of course, has got the, the same articulation as the other girls here, and she can of course she can hold her lasso of truth. Get her to hold it here. Put it in one hand. Get her to hold it in the other. You get the idea. <laughs> she can't hold her lasso of truth, which is kind of cool. So it's nice that the girls all have something they come with, some little accessory that that uh, adds a little bit of a bit of an extra play value to them. But the, a lot of articulation on these figures, though, surprisingly, a lot of amount of articulation, uh, more so than I thought was going to be on figures of this nature. So that's a pretty cool little feature, don't you think, Puppet? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes. There you go, guys. There's a look at Mattel's amazing, amazing DC Superhero Girls action figures. And only the three of the six, but a good look and a good preview of what you have to look forward to if you're going out to pick these figures up. Now, as I said, they can be found at Target's currently, Target stores, but you're probably going to have a hard time finding them right now because they are selling out nationwide uh, until we, they get some more stock in. So it's going to be a little bit, well, that's what happens when something really cool and popular comes out and is really new and really hot, they tend to sell out. But when you find them, make sure you pick them up because they are fun additions to anyone's action figure collection. They're six inch scale. They fit right in with other action figure lines and they look really cool. Honestly, let's be, let's be honest. They could have, these could have been done really bad and they turned out really good. So that's a plus. So make sure you check that out. And gang, make sure you subscribe to us. Go to youtube.com slash toy world order. Hit subscribe. Master like button! Master like Ow! Wow. Surprised you didn't surprised, surprised you didn't use mash the like button. You alright over there? Yeah? Nope. Mash the like button and not puppet the ball's face into a table, which is where horrible things happen, but well, poor puppet. 
But check us out there. Check us out on ToyWorldOrder.com. Check out all we have to offer. Uh, podcast videos, so much more. So check that out. And gang, until next time. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. She's not a transformer. She's a little girl that can fly and turn into a bee. Can buzz, 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 buzz. Oh. Take care, guys. Can I have Bumblebee back? Oh, it's all slimy and wet. Ugh. Bye, guys. Ugh.